Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfields. What do I call this? Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfields International Food Review. It's like a passport to the world and you don't gotta go nowhere. Neither do we. Definitely is gonna be a new series. We had so much fun last time. It seemed like you guys really liked it. We actually have two things, but it's gonna be two separate videos. <laughs> First, we are having the four cheese. Four types of cheese on top of each one. Cheetos Whopper from the Philippines. So hop on your local bus and just head on over to the Philippines. Guys, I gotta tell you, this looks insane. What we did was we went through the app and I got a double Whopper for three bucks. We took the other patty, threw it right down the street. Oh, we ate that. We ate it. We could have kept it on there, but it's not accurate to the picture. Four types of cheese! What you gotta get. And it's great through the app because, again, it's customizable. BK's customization is not as friendly and robust as Taco Bell's, but luckily with this it works. Get yourself a Whopper with American cheese. We got an onion and pickle, but we did not get it with mayo, lettuce, tomato, or ketchup. Anything we thought was going to make it overly yeah. soggy. Essentially putting a handful of jalapeno crunchy Cheetos. And I mean that and ketchup, it's going to get a little mushy. Yeah. We put two slices of Swiss, a handful of mozzarella, and also kind of like a Velveeta cheese spread. So this is a four cheese, and it, look at that thing. And then we threw it in the air fryer for like, probably two or three minutes to get it nice and melted, because look at this picture. That's pretty damn good. I'm excited. So we're gonna cut this in half. Enjoy the show. That crunch. Enjoy this in 4K. Look at that. That's a beast. Oh my God. That cheese is so good looking. It's so attractive. It's the Jason Momoa of burgers. Four cheese Cheeto burger. Bottoms up. Hey. Oh. I didn't think it. Oh my God, that cheese is so good. God. Why is this not here? It should be. It's got Cheetos on it, a cheese sauce on there. So this might be the best thing I've ever had in Burger King. And it wasn't even something they actually had. It's as good as it seems like it should be. You got Burger King's, the smoky flame broiled burger in there, which is smoky, salty, savory. Then you get like the kind of pungency from the Swiss cheese. You get the um, very, very mild flavor, but the texture of the mozzarella. So it's like gooey. Then you get the very distinct flavor of American cheese. And then the cheese sauce is essentially another kind of American cheese. Yeah. So the saltiness of the sense, really creamy. And then you get the crunch and the spice from the Cheetos. Come on. Oh my God. Oh God, it's better than it does to me. Me too. And the onions and pickle, I highly recommend getting that on. Yeah, if you like those two things. Yeah. This is my favorite thing I've ever gotten from Burger King. And I helped. Make it our way. Have this your way. Add this to the menu. They really should. That's great. Why the hell is this only available in the Philippines? If you think this looks good or anything that we've just... I hit my nose with the Cheeto. Please grab anything that sounds good to you. Ten times better than you're imagining. Go do this. You really should. Do yourself a favor. Go do this. It was super easy. Just make sure you melt that cheese though. Because it's not going to be as good without it being mm -hmm. ooey I can't... Well, the cheese sauce adds as an adhesive too for the Cheetos. Because otherwise it's just going to fall off. But if you put a nice... Big old glop of that cheese sauce in there and then put a ham on there, it sticks to it. It's like grout for Cheetos. The five and five day, every day, all day. We just jumped into our DeLorean, went back in time when this first came out, zipped over to the Philippines, grabbed a hamburger, confused everyone there, grabbed one of these, came back, and delivered it just for you. It saved you money on a plane ticket and a flux capacitor. I've heard that's very expensive. Oh, just the point, 21 gigawatts! Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoy these. We're gonna do a whole bunch of, bunch of these. There's a lot, lot of options here. Put your words in the comments below, and we can communicate. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit the notification. All that stuff. Here's the last three videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And then for the next time.